This is Mary Kay Brown, accomplished cartoonist and painter, notable for her strips in National Lampoon, The New Yorker, and Playboy, and the series Aunt Mary's Kitchen. Perhaps you'd be interested to know she was once an animator too. In 1987, she created a short series about a cheerful psychiatrist named Dr. Janice Ngotatu, and after three months on Fox, no one has heard from it since. To give you some context, it was aired as a segment on Fox's brand new sketch comedy, The Tracy Ullman Show. And you know what else they presented? Well, here we are, the whole family. Yes, shorts about Matt Groening's yellow family, The Simpsons. If you don't know, they've been pretty popular ever since. So I don't blame anyone that Dr. Ingatatu faded into obscurity so quickly. It's so obscure, in fact, that I can only find three of the eight shorts Brown created. The first one, The Office, gives you a brief overview of Janice's personality, job, and attitude to silly inconveniences. But first I have to show you something. Look, I wore my slippers to the office. What was I thinking of? With Julie Payne's casual delivery making it more fun. Next, there's Blind Date, which is self-explanatory. She goes on a blind date with a guy named Bill Wallhead, who's full of crap. I am an attorney. I'm also a surgeon. <laughs> Keeps me pretty busy. I hardly have time to sail or fly my plane. I'm a commercial pilot, though I much prefer skydiving. The last one currently online is Freeway, where she and her friend Pat go shopping, but on the way there, Pat gets frightened for her life while driving on the freeway. Well, Pat, here we are, sailing right along on the freeway, just like all the other people, and you're doing just fine. Just fine. <laughs> The animation is very crude. I'm a little glad there's never been any footage of them in high definition, because part of the magic of watching these is this fun feeling of going back in time and observing this cheesy cartoon about a psychiatrist in the 80s. There are three more that aired on season one of The Tracy Ullman Show, and two intended for the second that went unaired, and unless I can get the hashtag PagingGotatu trending, these are lost. At least they were all given image galleries and transcripts on M.K. Brown's website for a period of time. Not anymore, unfortunately, but thank god for the Wayback Machine. Fish Tank, where the fish are acting up, and two repairmen repair the tank in a silly manner. The Dream, where Janice describes a dream she had where she was a completely different woman, and there was a Canadian police officer with the face of Bill Woolhead. And then The Scanner, where she observes her patient Michelle's thoughts through a high-tech brain scanner. These all seemed like they could be interesting in their own right, not exactly the funniest things ever, but nice little filler bits between the Tracy Ullman sketches. Though the website did have snapshots and scripts for two unreleased episodes, and fasten your seatbelts because Dr. Ngatashu was going to have continuity and character development, in these two shorts, Janice met up with Bill again at a party, then he proposed to her in her office the next day. The scripts don't have a lot of action in them, and the snapshots presented have less surreal humour going on in them. I don't believe these would have been as warmly received as the first season, and M.K. Brown went back to drawing and painting, with limited forays into moving pictures. If it's anything noteworthy for my channel, this is the very first Klasky Shupo cartoon I've reviewed. You want Rugrats? Duckman? Ginger? No way, man, I'm sticking with the classics. But seriously, this is a very curious piece of animation history. An experimental miniseries on a hot new network that was immediately usurped by the most popular animated series of all time. The only reference The Simpsons has ever made to it, its entire run, is a sly call out in the 138th episode Spectacular. And what better place to premiere their creation than on The Tracy Ullman Show, the nation's showcase for psychiatrist jokes and musical comedy numbers. I'm curious to see if Brown is still working, and if Dr. Ngatashu could come back, or at least be released online in its entirety. I'm really hoping this is all found and preserved soon, because animation takes so much time that none of it deserves to be erased from history. Sorry the review portion was so short, but when you've only got three and a half minutes to go off of, you'll want some answers. And there is only one woman who can give them. Goodbye for now.